How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome back to our Terraria 1.3 Expert Mode Let's Play. So we've got a few things to do now that we are officially in Hard Mode. Um, now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm expecting these Hard Mode mobs to really pack a punch. So probably one of the first things we do need to do is to get um, some of the Hard Mode ores collected. So, just opening up our planting box here, and what we need to craft is some Spelunker potions. So, let's make... Oh, we've got plenty of materials. Let's make four. Um, some of you also just suggested the stuff of regrowth we got uh, in one of the chests. If you actually use it to collect uh, seeds, it has a chance to give you more um, seeds and plants when you actually collect the um, the plants with it so it's actually super useful so you just use it like you would a pickaxe or anything like that and you'll find you get more seeds and plants back which is absolutely amazing um, and it just means when you replant your gardens you just yeah you'll end up with an excess of seeds which is fantastic so let's get all that back in the box all right so we've made some spelunkers let's also make Let's make a few regen potions to take because I assume we're going to be taking some damage. And iron skin. Okay, we need to be on the lookout for some iron ore um, because we'll need some more iron skin potions too. Now before we go and smash all the demon altars, let's open some of the chests we've been collecting. Uh, because now we're in hard mode, we can actually get hard mode ores out of it. So we got some palladium bars. Uh, adamantite, which is awesome. And we'll get some potions and all that good stuff too. So, I guess what I could do is just spam them open. Okay, and stuff's falling all over the floor. We've got a radar, which is cool. Um, that's part of the cell phone. So let's put that in the box. A tsunami in a bottle. That's cool. Alright, let's put all the potions away for now. I just sort of want to keep the ores... And the, uh, the strong stuff for now. Awesome, awesome. And some new baits too, that's cool. I'll put the baits away because I've got fireflies at the moment. Did we get an accessory out of there too? That's cool. Okay, and let's open our iron crates. Oh, <laughs> the ginger beard. Woo, 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 woo. I think I'll uh, keep my <laughs> worm scarf on over that though. And last one, another ginger beard. Lovely. Hey, witch doctor. Oh, I could make wings. I need to put him in a jungle biome. <gasps> Should we do that first? I don't have wings. I want wings. Um, uh, <gasps> we made that temporary... Um, yes, we can do this, guys. So here we are in our... Ooh, buggies. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> um, here we are in our artificial jungle biome. Oh my gosh, more buggies. Grubbies and buggies. So... Yes, we're going to make the Witch Doctor a house because at night, if he lives in a jungle biome, I believe he will sell you uh, leaf wings, which would be amazing. So let's make him a beautiful little temporary house and all that good stuff. We need a wall. Let's make a wall quickly because having wings from the start is going to be so handy. There we go, we need a light source now. Can we make... Oh yeah, I love, I love the Dynasty Lantern, it looks, it looks wicked. There we go. And let's make a beautiful little lantern. And that should be suitable. Lovely. Witch Doctor in. And I believe if you, at night time, if you just go off screen and then come back on, uh, NPC should move in. Pretty much straight away. Actually, quickest way. Yep, see, so he's already left the house we had for him. So if we go back down now, he should be there. Which is fantastic. Come on, witch doctor. There he is. Beautiful. Hey, buddy. Oh, what are you selling? What are you selling? So I've got enough savings. They're expensive, but they're totally worth it. I hope I haven't got a discount card. Or is that the Gavin playthrough? 
Alright, uh, we don't need the rest of the walls. Oh yes, we've got wings! Yes! This is so good. So, uh, hasty. Let's go re-roll these with the goblin before we start all our forging. Uh, all our, um... Oh my gosh, 44 gold. Oh. <laughs> that is lucky. <laughs> now, if I've got wings, I probably don't need double jump anymore. And I don't know why, I always like to put my wings in my top slot and the boots on the bottom slot. I don't know, I guess it's because you put boots on your feet, so it should be on the bottom. <laughs> okay, we're ready to go mine some ore. And so, we are making our way to the corruption to smash some demon altars. Now, I was also thinking a good idea might be to farm the to farm the goblin invasion because in hard mode uh, there's the new goblin summoners now and they actually drop some pretty powerful items there's some shadow blade dagger um, yeah and some pretty good stuff I was actually thinking too we should probably yay be gone evil cobalt a ritual chem oh that's not an altar, happy. <laughs> titanium. Ooh, titanium, nice. So let's, for now, start with... How did I get frozen? Oh, chilled. Are you kidding me? If you fall in icy water, you get chilled. Wow, that is... That's cool. I like that. And that makes sense, too. Alright, let's get our summons out. Even though they're not that powerful. Alright, we've got to deal with this guy. Oh, that's right, when you smash altars, it summons, uh... Summons Wraith. Which is not nice. Oh, man, I'm getting slammed! Whoa! Holy moly! Titanium. I think that's two lots of... Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I'm out of mana. <laughs> A ritual come, okay, one more. And I'm gonna flee from here. Oh gosh, that was tough. Wow. Goodness. But for now, it's time to drink a spelunker and go looking for ores. Ooh, little chest. Okay, wow. Here's cobalt already. Now, I kept the nightmare pickaxe because a lot of you remind me that at the start of hard mode, the nightmare picks better against normal. Is that is that right? Or not? Oh no, I think it's better against um, mossy mossy ground and things like that. But the molten looks faster against just normal blocks. So, so basically, what I like to do. Uh, with the hard mode ores is I just sort of rush to the highest tier, so titanium in this case. So the only thing I'm using cobalt for is to make the upgraded pick, so I can mine, uh, what was the next one? Did we get a ritual chem? Yep. So I'll rush to an ritual chem pick and then I rush to mine titanium. I don't really see much point in making full armor sets the whole way. If you're under the ground the whole time, you're not fighting a ton of monsters. So, yeah. <laughs> now, as for ore, ore galore, where is our ore? Let's put it in our hot bar. 44. So, let's see. Is it four cobalt that makes a bar? I think it's four. Four's sounding right. So if it's four, a pickaxe is probably about oh, 15 bars. Oh no, a puny was slain. Oh, a Poonie's down in the um, jungle biome still. I should probably rescue him. When he comes back, of course. <laughs> oh gosh, poor Apuni. He was such a trooper, right up till the end. <laughs> uh. So I was talking about ore and bars, wasn't I? So if we need 15 bars, we'll need 60 ore. I I'd like, I'd be, I'd dig that. Alright. Oh, it's only three. Excellent. Cobalt sword. That looks nice. 
Oh my gosh, it's almost as strong as the Knight's Edge. So, so, pickaxe. Pickaxe? There we go. Awesome. Ruthless. There we go. So, we've upgraded our pick, so let's... Oh, the, um, the clothes die is here. Yes. Um... Can we sidetrack for just a moment? Because I've got all these strange plants to hand in. That we were waiting on the uh, dye merchant. But we may as well, seeing we've got so many strange plants, hand in some of the quests. Okay. Burning Hades. Phase die, phase die, Hades die. Cool. Alright, you ready? Let's try some of these. So let's try this on our wings first. Whoa, that looks cool. Okay, let's try some phase die. Okay, I kind of like that. And Hades die. Whoa, that looks amazing. That looks really cool. Oh, I don't like it too much when it just makes you look... Yeah, I think less is more sometimes, if you've heard that saying. Yeah, see that? It's too much of the same effect. And that just... No, I don't like that. Okay. How about just on the Cobalt Shield? Oh, I can't... Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to, put, trying to put a Firefly on it. Yeah, that's not working. Uh, that's kind of cool. That's, that's a bit different. Sorry, I, I will, I'll stop doing this in a moment. Uh, it looks pretty wicked. Okay, let's go with that for now. And why don't you let me know in the comments? We've got Burning Hades... Phase and Hades die, just for now. And we have got more than enough a ritual come now. Ah, beautiful. Ooh, when it's night time. So we need to make 42 bars. Very nice. Let's just get rid of some little random things. And I'll put the ultra brights in here for now. Lovely. And just sell off, I don't need those, that. Actually, I've got bugs for crafting. Yup. Okay. So I'm pretty sure to forge with uh, a ritual can you need to make the anvil first. So let's upgrade our anvil. And just get rid of that. Alright, I'll sell it. How much is it worth? 10 silver. Okay. Alright, and now, oh yes, we can make the a ritual can pick with some change. We've got some change. Uh, can I make anything else? I can make a helmet. We can make an a ritual come sword, a repeater. <gasps> I love repeaters. It's like a crossbow. I think it's, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's try it out. I think it's pretty good. That's not bad. That's not bad. I'm happy with that. And it's time as always to hand in another quest. And let's see what we got. Okay, nothing special this time. Nothing special, but we got some more sonars. And some more journeyman bait, which is kind of cool. Always handy. So, we're geared up now, ready to hunt for our titanium ore. Now, it is one of the more rarer ores that you can collect, and I probably should grab another Spelunker or two quickly. So, when you're hunting for... <laughs> I just cast a fishing line inside. Uh, when you're hunting for Titanium or Adamantite, the highest tier ore, you sort of want to commit yourself to a little bit of a mining adventure. Um, it's You need 30 ore to create the... Adamantite or Titanium Forge um, and then you also need you need about it's five uh, Titanium or for one bar 
And to craft all the armor takes about... Whoa! <laughs> Uh-oh. This turtle is way too strong for us. Holy moly. Okay, just going to <laughs> escape around here. Oh my gosh. Oh, we should get the, um... We should go hunt black recluses and get the spider summons. That would be handy. Okay, let's see if I can sneak past the turtle. I can. Beautiful. And we'll keep cruising down here. And next thing, let's actually turn into, let's convert the bars that we've got. So 71 are ritual come. And we've got 46 titanium, which is a fair bit. I don't think it's enough for a full set of armor yet though. It's close though. Yeah, I think you need 59, 58. So 46, yeah, 59, I was right. Okay, however, I'm sure just equipping the two... Yeah. Let's make the... Let's make the leggings... Let's make the leggings and the chest plate for now. Um, because it's still, it's still higher armor, it's not gonna hurt. And uh, actually maybe let's just make the Eritualcom helmet. Let's make the melee one because it's got super high defense and that'll increase our armor score very nicely and the time has come to create the rest of the titanium bars and I think I got more than I needed oh my god <laughs> oh that's so funny <laughs> oh my gosh well we can always make some titanium weapons or a new pickaxe or sell them for money so it's all good and tin ore I don't need. So, let's make the... Ooh. Melee ranged magic. Ooh, ooh. Hmm. Do you know what? Oh, It's like... I kind of want the melee for the extra defense. Although, I'm guessing against a lot of the mech bosses, I'm probably gonna, going to want to use range. So let's make the ranged helmet too. And I'll hang on to that one. And the time has come to hand in another quest. And we got some crate potions, which actually is kind of useful because we're about to head to the beach and fish up some pirate maps. So I kind of like this. Um, so I'm gonna set up a little farm to farm for. <laughs> pirates, pirate maps, and yeah, we might as well get some shark fins while we're there, um, because the mega shark is an amazing weapon for uh, hard mode. So yeah, let's make our way down to Funky Town. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. And here we are at the ocean, ready to get our AFK. Well, not a. I guess it's an AFK. We're going to build a farm where we can farm some pirate maps. And the cool thing about it too is that we can also uh, do a bit of fishing while we're out here as well. So that's kind of cool. So the first thing we need to do is just platform out or block out or wood out or whatever you want to call it to about the middle, middle of the ocean here. So, we're making our way out, and that's probably, did the screen just stop? Yeah, okay, well that's definitely halfway, so let's just backtrack a bit. Okay, cool. So we want to make a catchment area where the arapaimas will get caught, and yes, of course, we're going to turn this into a jungle biome, so all the nice fishies will swim up faster. And there's Killer Eyeball. Oh my gosh. Come on, Eyeball. I'm trying to build a farm here. Thank you. Goodness. And now there's Killer Zombies. 
Wow, do their hit points get upgraded in hard mode? That's kind of cool. So, then what we're going to do is just make a bit of a, a shape like this. And that allows the fish to swim her along, or along, or along, <laughs> along the sides as well. So that's kind of cool. So it went three out. And then kind of like that. Be useful. Nice. Alright, that's a good start. And put the little wall up there. Excellent. Is that right? One side's longer than the other, isn't it? Oh my god. Happy. What are you doing? Seriously. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Is that better? I didn't just do the same thing again? Okay, that's better. Alright. Then we're actually going to turn the top into a mud wonderland. And that's what's going to change it into a jungle biome. So, let's make the roof out of mud. Glorious mud. Do I want vines everywhere? No, maybe not. Okay, let's put a palm roof on top. Oh, have enough, have enough. One short. Oh. Okay, well let's put a seed in to get it started. And then what we're going to do... Oh, how should I do this? Should I do it for speed? Okay. I'm going to build a design that will get the mud to... The jungle grass to spread quickly. And then as it spreads, I can get rid of all the middle parts. So we're going for speed at first. And then I can make it pretty later. Make sense? Cool. Gosh. Well, there's no problem with the spawn rates here, that's for sure. Alright, I'll just put a little bit more there. And this is pretty good now. So, we just need to make our way in here. Seal that back up. And now we just make the little, um... The little part where you put the water in. Now I might need to get some more. Okay. Let's make a little way to get out here. I won't take too much because it affects the water levels. Alright, put another bucket in. That should do it. So if you can get the water level just right, it will aggro all the mobs and they will want to come and say hi to you. Which I believe is working because a jellyfish is coming over. Alright, the last step is we just want to smooth these sides out. Okay, thanks as always for watching another episode of our Terraria 1.3 Let's Play in expert mode. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm having a great time with this playthrough and I understand there was a little bit of mining in this episode, but we had to do it. It was essential to be set up for the expert events that are upcoming. So next event we will be fighting pirates for sure with the uh, pirate maps we'll get from our new farm. And I suspect there may be a mech boss on the horizon too. But which one do you think we could actually survive against fighting first, guys? And girls. <laughs> so let me know in the comments. That can be our question for today. Um, what mech boss should we fight first in expert mode? So look, I know we've all, we've all killed the mech bosses with our powered up characters. And it's funny to see them die in a few seconds. But... You know, our character's not powered up yet, so we need to carefully decide which one we shall battle first. So let me know. Alright, time for some shoutouts as always. We've got Aether Realm. Aether? Aether Realm. Aether? Oh my gosh, I always say this wrong. It's A-E-T-H-E-R. Aether? Aether Realm. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I tried. <laughs> Aether Realms asked me to meow like a cat. Yes, a real cat. <laughs> um, so... Hey, why don't you try along at home? If you're still watching, it's time for us to all get our cat on and meow like a cat. So I'm going to go a nice meow at first and we're going to go meow. <laughs> and, then, and then when the cats get angry, they're like meow, meow, meow. I love it. Okay. Uh, now that that's happened, uh, we've got Jed Tuscan has asked me to say, you want to know what time it is? It's cookie time, brought to you by the Chocolate Chip Warriors. Thanks, Jed, that's awesome, because chocolate chips are amazing. Uh, we've got Braj Ramsrud. Bra Braj Ramsrud. Man, I've got some tough names today. Braj Ramsrud. I'm pretty sure I said that right. Uh, he's asked me to say in Gavin's voice, oh my gosh, I've never... 
I never said what Gavin might sound like. Okay, I'm going to go with tough guy, I reckon. So, he's asked me to say, it's weird how there's so many events to go through. <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's what Gavin sounds like. <laughs> okay, we've got Z9, Z9, Juggalo has asked me to say cookie. Oh, it's got to be in a cookie monster voice. Oh my gosh. Um, he's asked me to say cookie for me, cookie for you. But no cookie for you because you already had two. <laughs> I like that. That's awesome. And to finish us off today, oh my gosh, someone wants me to talk like Serena. I don't, know, I don't know how Serena sounds. Okay, he's asked me to say, I'm a potato baby baby <laughs> in Serena's voice. So, okay, try and do a girl voice here. Oh my gosh. Um, 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 I'm a, I am, no, that's, that's kitty voice. I am a potato baby baby. <laughs> that was terrible. Oh my gosh. But I had a go, guys. That is the main thing. I had a go. Alright, leave a like if you have enjoyed this video and it has brought you some entertainment to your day. Um, keep those comments coming. What mech boss should we fight? You might just want to tell me you're having a great day. Or, you know, you might have had a nice donut for lunch and you want to share that with everyone and that's awesome too. Thanks as always for everyone for being so amazing in the comments. It's great to see everyone getting along and helping each other. Makes our place a, a great channel to be, guys. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click that little HD icon in the bottom right corner. We've got lots of awesome Let's Plays and tutorials here, and you have a great time hanging out with us, guys. Okay, until next time, you stay happy, and I'll see you all soon. This is Happy Days, signing out. See ya! And that means that ectoplasm will be, yeah, getting farmed nicely. And you can see that was dead easy to set up that. So the mobs can cruise up the sides. The mimics can get in, which is one of the main things. Yeah, we've got lots of good loot. Just, just oh, he's got 3,000 health! He's only got 3,000!